asking around and gathering a few folks and asking them questions. Eventually, you flag down one guy on the far end of the tavern who, uh, he's a kind of an amateur cartographer. He's in the middle of kind of sketching out oh, uh, areas in the area. He talks to you for a bit, and you, you mention uh, the Cinder Peak uh, Mountains, and he goes, yes. Oh, yeah, yes, yes, no, Sunder Peak. It's not too far from Vasselheim. Uh, it's about a two days travel on horseback uh, southwest. Uh, the Sunder Peak Mountains themselves, uh, be careful. They're, uh, they're pretty steep. Um, <laughs> I haven't actually gone within the mountain range myself, but I've been within a few miles of it just to make sure that I can mark it with on my map. But, uh, yeah. but, uh, but yeah, it, it should be fine. Um, <laughs> so, uh, stay on the road. Okay, stay on the road. Uh, stay on the road. Do you stay actually have a, a map? That we could use? This is not done. No. And I need to finish it. Okay. Before I can give it to a uh, printer to make more. Sure, right. What's your girlfriend's name? Do you. What? What? I should go. And he folds up his map. Hold on. Do you have any other maps? We'll be on the lookout for for, for key things in the landscape to maybe give you information for your maps. Well, th- that would be very helpful. What's your name? Uh, Tyriok. Tyriok. Um, I'm not. <laughs> Matthew, we've been doing this for three years, and you still fucking blow me away. Game <laughs> <laughs> after game. <laughs> but yeah, I'm Tyriok. sorry, Tyriok. Tyriok. I meant to Any, say. Anything you you come across, please do take note of it. Uh, if you require a, a small. Parchment. I can perhaps provide that as well. Oh yeah. Um, yeah. Wait. What happens if you don't stay on the road? Well, uh, forests tend to. Um, I mean, I have an idea, but there are things that live there that are uh, generally pretty dangerous. <laughs> they've had people who've traveled on these routes, and at some point they've been attacked, or worse, never came back. Wow. What are, do you know what they've been attacked by? Hydra. I haven't. <laughs> you don't know. Hydra. 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 Hydra pipe. Uh, hi- not as in the. No. Nope. I understand. No. <laughs> <Yeah>. Yes. <laughs> like five heads. It's just back over at, at Grog's kind of ominous stare towards him again. <laughs> I should be leaving. Um, Parchment. Oh yeah. Yes. 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 Hands you this kind of you know, rolled up piece. Uh, relatively well made. We will use this to make notes. Thank you. I appreciate that greatly. You happen to have a compass, would you? No. It's okay, I've got I can an excellent sense of direction. Don't okay, good, make good, it good. Really you make it don't. It's not <laughs> hard to make it. <laughs> anyway, I, I'm usually here in the morning, just doing my business, so whatever you need to find me. Tyriok. 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 As you're stepping over uh, the remnants of the, the stone individuals on the ground, you catch your eye on one of the individuals you see uh, lying partially submerged in the snow and mud. Um, you glance down and see, oh, Two arms that are out like this, although the right arm from the elbow down is missing, it's broken off in stone. Both of them reaching out a, uh, a young human male, shortish brown hair, spectacles at the end of his nose, uh, thin uh, body, and uh, tucked in nice button shirt uh, slacks. Uh, this is Tyriok, the uh, Map the map maker. Oh, the map maker. You're a terrible person. No, why would you do that, Matthew? Wait, 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 wait. He was traveling the world. There's a man over there. His arm is gone. Can you, can you fix stoning? Can you fix a man who's been turned to stone? I can try. I don't. I remember one time we fixed. Vex, when she was turned to stone, the last time we um, fought the basilisks. Two years ago, yeah. What did we do? We, we, we covered her in basilisk blood. Um, I, I need to take a walk. Could you do that? Could you do that? Sure. Which stone is he? Um, look over there, by that tree. There. Do you see him? There's two hands pointing towards the sky. One hand. Okay. Two. One and a half. Two arms, you fucker. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right, can I head over there with yeah. uh You walk over there and you do see uh, a, a number of broken body parts all turned to, to stone, various states of, of disuse and crumbling. Um, you do see a young man who is you know, caught with his arms out, one broken off at the elbow, staring up, glasses at the end of his nose. Um, looking both f- frightened and frozen in a moment of, of complete unaware danger. 
Okay, could I could I try covering him in, in some of the basilisk's blood? Sure. You take one of the vials you collected and take the basilisk's blood and pour it over the statue. The blood kind of congeals and spills over, crystallizing slowly as the ice cold gets to it. Um, doesn't seem to have an effect. It's been too long. You gather the, oh, based on the last time it happened, the blood needs to be applied within a short period of time after oh. the person turns to stone. Okay, okay. Uh, do, you have, um, do you have anything else that might help? Uh, probably greater restoration. Do you have that prepared? I do. Okay. Uh, you you concentrate grasping the symbol of Saren Ray around your neck and touch your hand out. The warm glow of Saren Ray's divine energy transferring into the stone form. The form glows with energy in the glow subsides and fades. The stone texture of his body beginning to slowly soften oh. and the color returning to his skin. And for a moment, the head team seems to shake and the eyes kind of clarify and a voice begins to peek through these previously frozen vocal cords. Uh, I, I, I mean, no. Ah! Oh, As no. all of a sudden, his arm begins to just spray. <laughs> Gouts of blood. Oh god. Oh, I got it, I got it. <laughs> I, start, I start catching it with the sword. Oh god. I start catching it with the sword. Oh, no. uh, he he turn, okay. turns to you, just sprays right across oh. your face. Yeah, I good special. <laughs> yes. Help, help me. Ah. I, I, I grab his, his arm and then uh, cure, cure wounds. I don't know if that's a good thing. Okay, go, go, go ahead. <laughs> Heal him up. Can I try to like reattach his arm? Uh, you gather that might have been something to do before you had restored him. Oh shit! Um, <laughs> oh, <laughs> uh, however, go ahead and heal for cure wounds. Roll a d8 plus five. That's kind of fucking hilarious. <laughs> What's it? <laughs> Twenty-nine. Twenty-nine. Okay, Ooh, as you reach good. out and grasp the edge of his <laughs> bleeding stump. Stop moving! <laughs> I just <laughs> and the warmth kind of causes the pain to fade, and he kind of calms for a second. Oh, uh, so sorry. Uh, looks down as the uh, the wound has stopped bleeding. Uh, skin is it's it's kind of scabbed over, and it looks like it's now at a place where it's no longer an open wound. It is mostly healed over, though he is now missing. Part of his arm. Can he, he regrow his little arm like you regrew my brother's little nubbin of a toe? <laughs> this is this is a bit beyond your <laughs> your healing capability. Come on, Deadpool hand. Uh, which way looks like he goes? Thank you, small one. Um, well, uh, I uh, and he kind of reach, goes to reach up for for his glasses and oh. Oh, other hand. Um, oh, we're terrible. So. Hey, we saved seven eighths of a Mac maker. And he, he looks around at the rest of you. Oh, hello! It's it's been a while. We uh we haven't. Um, well, I seem to have got myself in a bit of a predicament. Um, <laughs> what happened? Well, I was. Well, I had two uh, two escorts, and uh, I had been making my way through most of Taldore and had gotten as far as this region, and. Uh, that's all I remember. Basilisks. Big lizard creatures. Yes. Mm. Very scary. I tried to run. That's all I remember. Was it just the three of you then? Not a large group of people? No, just three of us. What were you doing over here? Well, I was trying to finish this portion of the map. If I, uh... Uh... Oh, oh, oh. uh ah! And he goes over and reaches through some of the snow and... Uh, pulls up a large stone bag <laughs> that, was, <laughs> that is currently still attached to his oh, broken no. arm. Oh, no! Um, is this? Nope, 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 no. no. That's just a part of a, it was a statue garden. It's not a big deal yet. It's just a fragment. All right, well, these were my maps. Are they stone? They are stone currently. Can we, oh no. Oh. Is he on the ground still? Is no, he's standing. Oh, okay. Um, oh boy, uh, he takes his glasses off and goes to rub them into his shirt and does oh, it with no. and puts them back on. Oh, buddy. I feel terrible. Well, uh. I'm a one-legged duck walk around. Oh, no. So good. What do I do? Which hand does he have, his left? He has his left hand. Are you right-handed? I'm kind of ambidextrous. Oh, Thank that's good. Thanks for that. That's, right. that's, that's good, good, that's good. Um. 
Well, there's an encan- there's a lot's happened. You see that there's shock on his face. Like he still hasn't quite Everything's taken in be all okay. this kind of thing. Uh, Well, you good. have a great story now. <laughs> and a period of adjustment. Yes. Yes. This is very true. This is uh, a valid point. We should send him back to the to the encampment. Yes, it's, it's like a two day walk. These uh, escorts that you had with you, who were also turned to stone, were they important to you? Were they friends of yours? Oh no, I hired them as, as part of this endeavor. They were they were nice fellas. Um, uh, hold on a second. He starts walking off and starts like rummaging through the pieces of stone and various people, kind of picking up heads. No. Uh, well, that's Alex. Uh, <laughs> golly, I don't know. Um, uh, I don't know where Gerald is, but. Um, <laughs> Now. Uh, uh, well, well, you're more than actually. No. You're, he, he he's knows. rather smart, isn't he? He has he has knowledge of the area. That guy. It actually could be useful. Oh, Here's the thing: it's very dangerous, dear, and it's quite possible you might be turned into stone again, or you I might. Like no, we don't want that for you either. Um, also eaten alive, burned, shot, stabbed, straight up pulled killed, apart, maimed, beheaded, lacerated. All options. Mm. But that's just in the morning. But you're more than welcome to join oh, us. I don't, I don't, I don't have it. For a today. short amount of time, or you can, you know, it's head back to uh, a camp that's we'll about a day and a half away. All oh, right. Well, whereabouts are you going? We're heading up the mountain. I'll head for the camp. Are you, are you sure? sure? Yeah. We could always use you as a decoy. I mean, as an aid. I'm good. <laughs> I'm all right. Thank you, though. I appreciate, I appreciate the offer. Um, I have a lot to think about. I could. Well, we'll run into it when we get back. Do you need a hand finding your way to the oh, camping? Gross. Hey, not not cool. <laughs> gross. <laughs> gross. Just walking south or northward, basically trailing past oh, the path where you guys walked. I feel walked like yeah. I feel like we could help. We should help. Him this is as far as you go, or did okay. you make it up the mountain previously? Uh, I was cresting through the base of the mountain and made it most like of the way down the, the storm crest, and then was heading back through the frostwell. Oh, you've been oh, up there already. You've well, been to not, the base of the Stormcrest Mountains. I was kind of along the side. We were we were currently we were trying to make our way through uh, the central portion of the mountain pass, so we could keep track of the uh, division of. The division of topography, oh, uh, both top and bottom. Why didn't you say so? I mean, we could really use your help here. Actually, did you see something similar to this, this, oh, this obelisk. obelisk at the base of the mountain? Uh, and he kind of looks back and thinks to himself, no, not quite like this, though, but there, there are a number of, of cavern entrances that you know litter various portions of the base of the mountain. Did you go in any of them? Uh, no, that, see, I was afraid those would be too dangerous, <laughs> so I went into the forest. Right. Mm. Um, anyway. Well, look, you don't really seem to have a lot on you. Why don't you join us for just a little bit to the areas that he knows, and then we'll send you back on your way, maybe with a, a bit of ale, a little bit of food, maybe a weapon. That would be fantastic. And thank you. Um, I realize now that if you hadn't come by, I probably would have been there forever. Yes, well, I'm sorry about the arm, dear. It's, there are worse things. <laughs> and I, I can retrain the right with this arm. It's totally fine. Um, Yes, you're lucky to be alive, and now you're going on an adventure with us? Hey, who has two thumbs and is really excited? <laughs> <laughs> you and me, both doing this. <laughs> you know what? Make a, make a charisma check. <laughs> you worry me. Charisma? Yeah, just add your plus five charisma bonus. Uh, what's what's that, that sticky thing? Oh yeah, no, there it is. <laughs> 20. 20? As you do that, he kind of like. Uh, yeah, I, <laughs> you're right. You're right. I'm thankful to be alive today. And it's because of you guys. Aww. No. Technically true. Oh, Let's travel. All right. right. So Let's technically travel. true. <laughs> well, listen, I'll walk with you. Lead the way. All right, so uh, where are we going? Because this place was dangerous, and that place is dangerous. 
And now we don't want to go that way. Yeah, Vexonia will Why point where we're heading. Why don't you want to go that way? Have you seen orcs in this in this wood? He kind of points and says, "There's a lot of them that way. We kind of came through here to avoid them, and that's when this all happened." So. Uh, oh, actually, we should probably take care of the orcs. He walks really quick, and then we could send him back with the refugees. From we the did say we were going to take care of the orcs. Yes, we did. We did, we did promise that. What do you say, Grog? Would you like to kill some orc? I mean, do you always ask questions to which you know the answer already? <laughs> Would you like to stay here while we fight the orc, or could you walk us toward them and then stay hidden? I don't want to stay here. Then you come period. with us, and then you stay very, very hidden. I can do that. Right. We'll give him Definitely a do that. As you travel along the cold midday air of this forest, the, the, it, there's no wind. It's very still and very quiet, which is unsettling in a place that's so out and open in nature. Um, your boots are crunching through the snow, step after step, but you're still being as careful and as quiet as you can, moving along. Uh, Tyriok is shivering in the cold, and uh, one of you manages to pull out one of your extra blankets you have in the back of holding to kind of keep him from going into hypothermia. Um, you guys press on for about 10 minutes or so, and he's, you know, trying to look around and look at the various, the placement of the sun, look at different mile uh, areas that he'd seen within the forest, and he's kind of thinking to himself, oh, if I just, all right, so I recognize uh, that mountain spire, Towards that time of the day, uh, mm, that way is northwest. Follow me, and he continues to lead you. Uh, to lead you and that all direction. All of that with just a stump. Yes. Yeah, so. you were... <laughs> You're terrible. Terry, do do you have a weapon on you? Uh, the best weapon I have is right here. <laughs> yeah, right on your way, lad. <sighs> He's gonna oh. die first. <laughs> He's kind of trouncing through the snow, a little bit of head stopping, looking about, um, before he realize that he's a huge target and is making a lot of noise. Hey, <laughs> hey, Wonderbrain, I think, y yes. I think it would be smart if we moved as quietly as possible. Well, I, that's what I was doing. Uh, oh. Hmm. If you start, perhaps I should stand in the back then. Yes, uh, that sounds good. You guys want to go uh, loosely that way, about 300 paces to the right of the second stone you see with the loud uh, outcropping that looks like a gorilla's face, and then continue. Uh, I'll just guide you from back here. Okay. Yeah, that sounds good, yeah. yeah. Steps to the back and, of the you know, keep a distance when you hear no more fighting. It's probably safe. Probably. Okay, <clears throat> okay. I walk up alongside him and say, listen, I know you're not used to weaponry, but take this, please. It's a loner and I take my keen dagger and I stick it in what? his hand. No, don't, I take it back and I give another dagger to him. I give him the keen dagger and oh, say, fuck. hold this, it's a loner, it's very sharp, be careful with it, all right? And I just, if you get caught on your own, stab. That's all you gotta do is stab. Stab the other person, not yourself. His eyes don't leave the blade and he goes, okay. Don't accidentally stab yourself because I think it sucks your life energy out of you. That is not what that does. It's yes, it just does. Very it definitely sucks your life. I get the deception check. <laughs> I had At no a idea what the key was. I contradicted her. <laughs> was, uh, Twenty-five. Yep. Make a persuasion check. Yeah, that's another <laughs> knife I have. <laughs> oh really? Yes. <laughs> uh, uh, that's a uh, giant die. It's, it's not above twenty-five. Fifty. It's fifty. Uh, perhaps this is best. Suited for someone who knows how to wield such sharp powers. I think powers. you're so right, and I'll take that from you. And in exchange, I will give you this wonderful opal dagger that I have on my back. Oh, now this is this still is very sharp. Speed. Yeah, you know yeah. what that one does? <laughs> it makes you infertile. <laughs> give me this, you fucking hoarder! What's the matter with you? Yeah. What do you care? I'll just. Can you feel it in your little bits rumbling? They're <laughs> all going to sleep. Forever. Yes, really yep. Perhaps you have a, a third or fourth what? dagger. I what did he just tell you? I wasn't paying attention. Look, I'm a man of the truth. He's lying. He always lies. Don't pay any attention to him. With this You're safe lies. with that. No, I'm... I push him off ten feet away from the group, and I pull out the same keen <laughs> dagger and say, here's a different one. This is a normal dagger. <laughs> How about I plain... take no dagger and I stay away from this? You guys are starting to be a little weird. He hands you the Starting. secondary dagger and kind of puts his one hand up. I just don't want what happened to you before to happen again, all right? You can you can even put it in your belt. Just have it, all right? You give it back to me. It's a normal dagger. It's fine. My sister is intimidating uh, and a bit least. much. All right. Max, just because he's holding a dagger doesn't mean he's going to be successful at using it. That's what? True. 
He's you're 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 wasting your time. Never mind. Hold on. Okay. As you guys start walking, he's kind of holding it. His eyes don't leave the blade as he takes each step and kind of. <laughs> uh, at this point, you hear a voice and say, "Hey, is everything all right?" Oh, quiet. He's Come on over. Walking from behind a tree, a one-armed man. <laughs> he was running over. <sighs> wow. I heard a lot of craziness going on. That was, um, you did good. I saw a little bit of it. Did you have to use your dagger at all? Uh, no, but I kept it there just in case. And he's still clutching it in his hand. <laughs> There's one standing behind you right now. <laughs> it spins around and like swings it, loses the grip of it and <laughs> into the tree. And he's like, ah! Runs over, grabs it. <laughs> Nobody saw that. Totally cool. No, no one. Hi, I, I am uh, Tyriok. I make maps. Why, uh, why are you having trouble picking that up? Oh, well, I was turned to stone recently, and I don't have uh, <laughs> two arms anymore. I have one. I can still roll dice, though. And I have maps, and I have a, I have a compass. <laughs> and, um, I'm the least dangerous person at the tables. Yes. I'm not level one in anything, really, except maps. I'm level 15 in maps. Uh, I'm just happy to be here and be alive. Mostly. We've been opening doors for him all night. Yeah. Thank you, Liam. That's awesome. <laughs>